evening. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. Christy is off. The Cornell Jr. arrested for threatening the Jewish community will stay in jail as opposed to being sent home to stay with his mother. That's the decision of a federal judge in the last hour. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan was in the courtroom. The most dramatic moments happened after the actual court proceeding when the U.S. Marshals allowed Patrick Dye's mom to see him and speak with him for the very first time since he was arrested. She seemed like she wanted to comfort him, saying, quote, we love you, your family and friends love you. But he broke down, sobbing, seemingly ashamed for what he's being accused of. The discussion with the judge was about if he should stay in jail, but it opened up a debate about Dye's mental health. He's attempted suicide twice before being arrested, so the judge expressed worry for his own safety if he were to be outside of jail. The judge also shared disgust with the comments he's accused of making. She says she's worried he'd actually do it, saying mass shooters have given similar warnings before their acts. An apology post he apparently made only four hours later, the judge thought wasn't enough. She addressed him directly, saying, I'm so glad you haven't died or killed someone else. I'm sad for you. You matter, but so do the other people threatened by these posts. But the judge wanted the courtroom to know she's not cold-hearted. In her written order, she's including that Patrick Dye must be sent to a jail that can give him access to mental health care. In Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9.